hey mr Bretton gordon uh is a long-standing um british uh state apparatchik he has a military background um he is has been profiled in the times wearing this very interesting khaki smoking jacket um mm. and is um he, he's a cool guy yeah really, really cool um and um he w- was involved in a very prominent figure within the the syrian proxy war he on behalf of mi6 smuggled chemical weapon samples um soil samples allegedly proving that the the, the syrian government had carried out chemical weapons attack Mm -hmm. um uh out of syria and the explicit purpose was to get the u.s into the war um uh formally um uh, uh, as a belligerent you know like like not only bombing but like boots on the ground and he has also been a very prominent ukraine ultra um he was claiming that the uk's challenger tank was going to sweep putin's conscripts aside because Mm. it was like a it was it, it's a lot this undefeated battle tank and then first day out it gets whomped by russian artillery yeah. and then he's he's claiming it's a fluke and uh-huh. it's not it doesn't mean anything yeah. um uh, but but yeah um he is dreadful um but has a weekly com- column at the telegraph and in his most weekly i uh, sorry his most recent column he talks about how russia's nuclear arsenal is crumbling and ukraine can take it out for good now um this is elicited um, a lot of mockery and it's very clear to see why because he claims that any russia poses no nuclear threat yeah but also ukraine should take out uh, russia's nuclear arsenal because it's dangerous right and he poses the uh, he posits um his argument that russia's nuclear arsenal doesn't pose any threat on the basis that they recently conducted nuclear drills and use dummies mm-hmm. clear this is someone who claims to have decades of cbrn i.e chemical biological radioactive and nuclear warfare experience mm-hmm. and he doesn't understand that in a nuclear drill you don't use real nuclear weapons yeah. <laughs> um with intelligence quote unquote like this is it any wonder that the proxy war is failing so <laughs> spectacularly? <laughs> um, I mean, it's just like, it's just really astonishing, and it's like you know there there are articles in the mainstream media about France test firing dummy nuclear missiles, yeah, as a drill, right? So is the conclusion that their nuclear arsenal doesn't exist? I just, I, the, it, the, it's astonishing. The it's an air of, of of superiority in his writing. The tactical nuclear threat peddled by Putin and his gangsters is empty. Yeah, <laughs> take it from me. I've been countering nuclear terrorism and threats for nearly forty years. You know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's the thing is that like this, he, he's like some idiot who is trading off his like implied expertise. As, yeah. Like, um, and I, I mean, I might add as well that. During the Syrian proxy war, he made all of these pronouncements about how um, chlorine in fridges yeah. could be turned into bombs. Yeah. Um, and he also claimed that that Russia was going to start using Novichok hand grenade. I mean, or not <laughs> zero reports of, of that so far today yeah. in the proxy war. But it's just like... I it, know it was Saren. I sniffed it, the it, backpack. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like, it's just, it, 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 there is a, there's another guy called Richard Kemp who um is a he's a, a, a z- z- rabid zionist um british military um uh veteran yeah. who who has also has a column in the telegraph yeah. who spent most of last year talking about how oh ukraine's going to win it that they're about to the counteroffensive is about to you know blow russia apart yeah. and then fast forward to the start of this year and he's like ukraine's got six months left yeah it's just it's aston- it's astonishing. Well, this gentleman here says that the tide of the war is beginning to turn in Kiev's favor. <laughs> yes, um, and take it from the thousands of dead conscripts right, per day. Right. Um, it's yeah, and it, and it's just and I just just think just think more generally that it, it, it is important to note that these people are insane, but yet they are having a huge influence over how the proxy war is prosecuted. Yeah, Chris Donnelly who is a longtime NATO advisor and British Ministry of Defence apparatchik, who is leading Britain's contribution to the proxy war. He was the brains behind the attack on Kerch Bridge in, yeah. in uh, oh, October 2022. Um, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, such is the pace with which things move I these know. days. It's very difficult to keep up. But like, 
he he is is counselling the British government on how to prosecute the proxy war. In the wake of Prigozhin's mutiny last year, yeah. he wrote a very rare public op-ed stating, "Well, this shows that Putin is finished and it's over, and like you know, that everyone in Russia is turning against him." Yeah. Now that mutiny was a PR stunt yeah. staged by someone with zero power within the structure within the Russian political structure. Sure. Because they had no power within the political structure, yeah. which was completely forgotten about a day later. Yeah, uh, and then he's and dead. now Prigorzhin's with Tupac and Cuba. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, and and it's just like, um, it, it, and and Kurt Cobain, I think, as well. But yeah, it's just like, right. But it's just like, yeah, the, 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 he really thought that this was of seismic, earth-shattering significance. Yeah, and it meant nothing. Yeah, and this is the guy saying, "Keep escalating because Russia can't do anything about it." Sure, right. It's frightening. Yeah, and I mean, like, like <laughs> I just think that, like. Let's assume, given the benefit of the doubt, that some of Russia's nuclear weapons may not be up to par, right? Yes. Is that a bet we really want to take? Yeah, Do yeah. We want to, I mean, how many nuclear weapons does Russia have? Are we willing to bet that all 300,000, or just throwing a number out there, mm. are, are defective? You know, yeah. um, because one is enough to, like, end civilization. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, and it's just, but it's, all, it's, it's also, as well, it's like, so much of the, the, deba the debate about, like, nuclear war it's based on the fact that oh well it hasn't happened since since world war ii and yeah. it's like the amount of times we've come so close to it yeah. like there, there were several incidents around the uh the cuban missile crisis yeah. where like a, a soviet submarine which had nuclear capability was attacked by the us and it, it, they were on the verge of a nuclear yeah. counter-attack and which <coughs> excuse me <coughs> got stopped smoking um at the very last minute, they change their minds. And it's like, it, it's a bit like saying, well, I've won Russian roulette a few times. Right. Therefore, Surely it's safe. Therefore, it's safe. Yeah. It's like, no, it, 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 Russia has not responded with nukes yet. Yeah. And, the, and these decisions happen within the course of minutes. Oh, I mean, yeah, absolutely. It, uh, if you remember the the video I did on the attacks against Russia's missile detection systems in Theodore Postol, the MIT scientist and mm. former... Pentagon science advisor, uh, warning that this that the attacks brought Russia's time to respond to a nuclear attack from you know eleven to fifteen minutes to like nine to ten. Yeah, you know, yeah. and I, those numbers aren't exactly right. I forget the specifics, but when you shave five minutes off of a fifteen minute window, that's one third. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, yeah. No, I mean it's it's hugely significant, and it's like and it's it's a it's a, a, a I, we discussed. Ukraine um, being given the green light to start striking Russia, yeah. and it's like the 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 Britain, and it's very clear from my reporting on like leaked emails and like leaked reports, but it, like they they are absolutely convinced. Well, the U.S. is being too hesitant, and and this is stupid and wrongheaded, and yeah, like that that Russia won't um, uh, respond um, uh, drastically to to all of these provocations, and it's like consistent crossing yeah. of stated red lines, and it's just like the, the 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 U.S. Imperial Brain Trust. I mean, it does churn out some lunatics, but there is enough sense within it to understand that like this is not a game. Yeah. Um, like, you know, this is, it, 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 it's not, it, it, it is a coin toss, actually, whether us doing this will respond, will, will, sorry, will elicit responses. Um, and so that's why they're very wary. I, of, I love how over the course of my knowing you, I've been slowly given an intravenous like feed of like red pill on Britain, you know. Um, yes. And I see it more and more. I mean, look at the uh, the green light to use Western weapons inside yeah. of Russia. That the, the UK did that a month before the United States. Yeah, yeah. But it's just I mean, it's a thing as well is that, that this has even been reported in the media that um, the British government has behind closed doors been applying pressure to ensure that the US doesn't step back. And yeah. So I actually see. All of these countries, which includes like Poland and that the, the are providing Ukraine with, with, with weapons, giving that green light. I mean, that's the result of Britain. Yeah. They're saying, like, let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. And it's like, you guys are insane. Yeah. Like, that, like I, I mentioned before, and I think after this, we can move on, move on to spot uh, China spying press. It, 10 years ago now, the, the Chris, Chris Donnelly, again, our fr friend of the show, Oh, he ran a British intelligence front called the Institute for Statecraft, and it published an essay on its website openly stating 
um, we need to diplomatically encircle Russia, we need to demonize them via propaganda, and this will produce a war of the old fashioned sort mm. that the, the West and Great Britain can win. Like they are absolutely determined for this proxy war to escalate into a battle for civilization and blah, 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 because they think they're going to win it. But um, actually, as we can see, Britain militarily is just this crumbling um, uh, 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 pensioner. Hey everyone, um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.